Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Just joking, I'm a dog person. Hope everyone's staying safe. Hope everyone's staying inside as well. Today I'm gonna to show you how to solo using the minor pentatonic scale. The reason why I'm showing you a scale and not any old song is because with whatever you learn, learn what's behind it. The minor pentatonic scale is the easiest yet most commonly used scale. And remember this scale is very, very diverse. You can play it with rock, blues, reggae, hip hop, R&B, metal. So pick up a guitar if you have one. You can play with an acoustic or play with an electric. They're both the same thing, but just getting a different tone response from them. Okay, so the minor pentatonic scale is made out of five notes, which are... And you probably already feel like you've heard it before because it's used in literally every single song, every single solo. Um, so you're probably already quite familiar with it. And then from there, it literally just repeats itself. So here's position one, as you can see here on the screen as well. It starts off with your first finger being on the E string. And then your little finger going on the, on the sixth fret on the E string. And then we move down a string to the A string. And that's going, the first finger is going on the on the third fret of the A string, and then to the fifth fret of the A string, and then down a string to the D string, and it's the third fret. And now the fifth fret on that same string, and then down to the G string, and that back to the third, to the fifth of the G string, and now to the B string, which is the third again, and now we're going to the sixth fret of the B string. And now the last string, we go into the three, back to the six. Please make sure you do use this diagram as reference to help you. Um, so in conjunction with all that, it should sound like this. You can use whatever finger suits you. Obviously, I have quite long fingers and quite big hands, so I'm able to do that. But if you have small hands, you can always use your pinky. And literally, guys, it's very easy because all it is is those five notes just played throughout the neck. So. So we've just learned the G minor pentatonic scale. You can use this scale on any song or any piece of music that's in the key of G minor. I'm gonna be playing along to Bill Weathers' Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. I'm gonna be using the exact same scale I've taught you guys and showing you how musically you can use it, how melodically you can use it, and how you can really get into the feel side of music. Now, what I'm about to play on guitar is literally all improvised. I'm not reading from anything. It's literally just muscle memory from me learning that scale. And once you've learned it, your mind will always go to that scale. you've mastered where those notes are on the neck of the guitar the most basic ones which being position one the more you practice that the more your ear becomes immune to it you'll learn that you can play that exact scale anywhere else on the guitar neck and I'll show you here now I'm going to play the same back and track but instead of using this position I'm going to use different positions around the neck so you can get the feel of what I'm doing and how I'm approaching it. Just remember that I'm still using those same five notes in the G minor pentatonic scale 